All right, let's see what. Oh, there's a whole bunch of little ones running in. Yeah, this does. Oh, nice. <laughs>Everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Don't Bite Me, Bro. Uh, there's been an update that came out for the game, so we're now on version 1.8, which had a few changes in it, uh, including some increased range for our people that are on the towers there, which is kind of cool. Uh, they've added the a drop right now for zombies where they can drop bullets, which is all pretty awesome also, so you get some firepower. But it did end up corrupting my save game, and everything's set right back to level 1 uh, on my save game. It was, uh, I still had some of my buildings and stuff, but some of the people that I had rescued were dead, so you know, they were just laying like corpses on top of the little guard tower. So I decided to start over again. Now, I've gotten back to about the same point I was at before, um, although I think, uh, I think I might have had my wall slightly more upgraded in the last one. Um, but we have quite a bit of wood now, so we can actually go through and, and actually upgrade these. I think it's the, yeah, the, wire, the metal fence here, the chain link fence is what we're moving up to now. So we have two of the little townspeople here that we've managed to rescue, and they make some pretty effective guards, actually, on top of the towers, which is kind of cool. Uh, this is kind of a pain to... You have to stand really close to these things before you can upgrade them. Uh, they have a pretty good uh, a pretty good range. They see... Oh, really? Wow. I used all that wood making wire chain link. Imagine that. Uh, they have some pretty good range, uh, so they actually do quite a bit to help help knock the, uh, the enemies back. Uh, they've actually changed it also now, so the, the zombies don't always come from the same direction in, in terms of, like, large groups. So we have a herd of 14 that are coming now. Now, we're going to need to set up some additional defenses for them because I only have the two tower guards at the moment. The truck makes a pretty effective zombie smasher. You can drive around and smash them with that, but, of course, you also don't get the chance to pick up bullets and bones and stuff when you do that because uh, you're stuck in the truck and you can't pick stuff up while you're in there. But I think what I really want to test out now is making some landmines. And then we'll see how it works with, uh, with taking out some zombies. Now, I do have the tower guards that are toward the back of my my little compound. So I'm thinking I'll, I'll initially just maybe put some mines out on the sides and maybe out in front so that if we can get some zombies to wander into them, it might help to kind of blow things up. There's a merchant over there where you can buy bullets and stuff, but I found now, too, that you, get, you tend to get a lot of bullets in the game now, so you almost... You almost don't really even need the bones to go buy them anymore. There's other things you can buy with the bones, but... I mean, so far, it was really the uh, the bullets that I was after for the most part. All right, we stocked up on a little bit more wood. We got up to 159 now. I guess plus the 11 that's in there, so we have about 170 wood to work with. I could go ahead and upgrade my fences more so that I get more of these wire fences, but I think for the moment I'm going to worry about putting down some landmines. See how these things work out. So it takes 50, 50 resources for each one of these landmines. So I guess we can kind of maybe scatter a few of them around here. I'm really curious to see how well these work. Uh-oh. Well, that was quick. Uh, need more wood. Well, I got enough wood to put out two more landmines here, so that's probably the, all I'm going to worry about for now. Unfortunately, the wood does gather up pretty quickly, so it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, let's try and do... Right, we'll do one right here, too. I have no idea whether the, these landmine explosions will actually damage my own stuff or not. Kind of hope not. I mean, I don't have them placed too close to any of my little defensive objects, so I don't think I'll have to worry too much about that. But I'm just thinking, like, if I put something in close to a wall, I wonder if it'll end up blowing up my wall on me. <sighs> oh, the wave arrived, and actually it spawned right up here where I'm yeah. harvesting wood. Oh, this one's pregnant. Oh my goodness, I just shot a pregnant zombie. That seems wrong somehow. I love how you can get two for one shots. Yeah. Alright, so these guys are all going to head right back towards my tower guard, so I'm not too worried about them. I should probably scout around here yeah. and make sure there aren't any zombies hiding in weird directions here. It used to be that what they would choose a, re a spawn point, and then all the zombies would come from that direction, but now it looks like they kind of spread them out a little bit. I wish I had a longer reach on this, this crazy bat. Oh, it just made me waste my ammo, buddy. The tower guards seem to have unlimited ammo. I, on the other hand, do not. It's probably a good thing they do, because this guy's not a very good shot. <sighs> Yay, bullets! Nice. All right, that was actually a relatively easy clear, even with 14 of them. Having these towers around certainly makes things a lot easier. I didn't get a chance to test out the landmines, though. 
Well, I've done what I can defensively for the moment. I have a good scattering of mines around here. Hit hey, by two tower guards. I could do a little bit more wall upgrading, but I actually want to try and find some more survivors and yeah. see if we can try and build more towers because those things are ultimately really cool. Take me to your camp. Yeah. Oh, well, that was easy. Uh, all right. I was pretty sure this guy had died, but I guess not. And maybe when I loaded out and back in again, he came back to life. That's really weird. Nevertheless, we got another townsperson, which means I can build another tower. Which also means I need more materials if I'm going to do another tower. Hmm. I think I'm going to do ultimately like four corners like this so that I've got good angles of shooting and stuff all the way around. I should probably should heal myself before I get wandering off too far. Now, I've never checked up here before to the top, so I probably should take a peek up here. See if there's anything neat this way. I think maybe it'd just be block, blocked up at the river. Yeah, it's all river along here. I don't think there's any way to cross it. It looks like the edge of the map is just over here. There's no bridge or anything. Yeah, we're down in the swamp. I can't even go in the river down here. I guess the... Alright, it's not even the swamp. This is the swamp over here. Now, the swamp water I can go in, although it's kind of deep. Fortunately, you can get on these walkways, though, and get out. I need to find more survivors. I think so I think I heard there's a total of like six. Oh, there's the bridge I came in on originally. Oh, what is this down here? Is that a mushroom? Uh, I don't know. Maybe that was a fuel can. I've got a good amount of fuel now. I can certainly fuel up my truck well. Let's look over here. Oh, there's a car in the swamp. The swamp area has some really weird sound effects going on. Oh, there's another pregnant zombie. Uh oh. What the? Baby zombie. Get out of here, baby zombie. I don't know what that is, those things do. I mean, they cry. Maybe it attracts more zombies to the general area or something. Got a bone here. Get the bone. I have crazy amounts of food, so I probably don't need that. I don't see any more villages around here, but I was sure there was more. I mean, I thought I heard there was like six of them, but I've only got three. Actually, I think even when you hit the save game... Yeah, there's like uh, two, two, four, six. There's like 12 of them there. I've only found three of them so far. Need more people. Show me more survivors. That herd is already more than halfway to my to my little encampment, too. So i got to be aware of that. Ooh, what's this over here? Somebody's got a wire fence over here, just like I have on started building on my compound. Yeah. Maybe, I wonder if that's supposed to be the end of the map, or if that's actually somebody's little base out there. There's the church. Nobody in the churchyard. So inside the church is where we can go after another one of the orbs. Maybe we'll do that today. And then I think the last one's in the hospital, although I don't even see where to get to the hospital from here. It must be, like, way down below. Got another zombie herd inbound here somewhere. 16 of them this time, so it's a fairly decent number. I mean, it's not a huge army of them. Oh, there's uh, there's some zombies there. I'm going to try and get their attention a little bit. Come here, zombies. Ow! Ow. No, you two. You guys come over here. I'll leave my truck alone. You guys come over here. Ow. And, uh... Ow. Oh, oh, it's a oh, little one. Jeez, that one bit me. All right, let's see what... The, oh, there's a whole bunch of little ones running in. This does. Oh, nice! <laughs> come here, you. Get out of here. Leave my fence alone. Oh, they're in my camp. One of them got in there. It looks like they can walk through the gate. They just kind of swing it open. I don't really like that very much. Ow! And these guards aren't shooting at them either. It says clear, but there's a zombie right here eating my fence. Oh, there was a baby one. I squashed him. Whew. We lived. The next one's going to have 18 in it. That Those mines are pretty awesome. I definitely want to make more use of those things. And what can I do about these gates? I guess maybe I could just try booby trapping them. Where's the booby trap? Oh, like so? Can I put it right in front of here? No, I guess I pretty much can. All right, so at least if somebody comes to the gate, this will uh, hopefully take care of them so they won't be able to walk through. Come on. I can't even walk through. It looks like they fixed the bug, too, where if you go into the cave and you get the little, like, a crystal thing that's in there. It used to be when you came out, the the people that were on the towers would be standing two of them high. Like, one on top of the other, like, some kind of crazy totem pole. And it looks like they've kind of sorted that out. 
they did increase the range that they can shoot at, and I don't know if the damage goes up too, but I probably should try to upgrade these towers more. I, f I feel like... I feel like I've done something wrong here, because this, this girl over here wasn't shooting anymore. Oh, it goes to metal. Oh, I'm out of materials. Have we got enough for this one? No. So I don't know whether to raise my wall now, or leave it the way it is. I mean, she should be able to shoot through the fence, but it didn't seem like she was very willing to. I did not find any more survivors, though. Let's go over and check out... Under attack? What do you mean under attack? Was I under attack by my truck? Under attack again! I don't understand. Is there a... Is there a townsperson somewhere? It's saying under attack, but I don't... I don't see anything here. Is there a zombie over here? There's no zombies. Under attack. So this is another change here they made where you can actually break these stumps. I was going to make an impenetrable, ba an impenetrable base by surrounding it by tree stumps that the zombies couldn't get through. But I think they can just break through those now. Let's go check out the church. Alright, let's see what the zombies have got for us in stock in here. Hello, zombies. Oh, I can heal. That's a plus. Wow, for a church, this place is awfully grim. It's like we're in the sepulcher or something. No, I guess we are. There's like coffins and stuff down here. You know, with the stealth, stealth map kill. They don't come running if I use the bat. Though they definitely come running if I shoot bullets at them, I guess because the gun. Boom! Two for one. Oh, uh, just wasted them. What is that? Oh, bullets. Hey, bullets. Alright, we got a good reload. Alright, I guess we'll move on. What's over here? When you're in these caves and stuff now, you get a little flashlight beam. Oh, another pregnant one. Oh, that's just so wrong. Oh, yeah, that's what it does. So the crying baby zombie apparently attracts the adult zombies. Who, for whatever reason, don't like when the baby zombie cries. I mean, I can understand why. Come here, baby zombie. Yeah, take that. All right, do we want to go to the right or up? Uh, it looks like up is the way to go down, so let's go to the right and see what's over here. Oh, we have more bullets. I don't know how many of these bullets I can carry, but I'm, I should be getting a pretty good load of them by now. Oh, yeah, I've got almost 200 shots. <laughs> I, I think they might have... Oh, yeah, I maxed out. 199 is the, mo the most you can carry bullet-wise. I think 50 is the most food I can carry. What's up with this candle? Right, take that, candle. Eat it, candle! All right. I guess we'll go down. Man, I really don't even have to worry about supplies down here anymore. I can just leave all this stuff. I have so many bullets. It's actually a little bit crazy. Oh, what are those big fat ones? Ow. Ow. I kind of want to shoot just to see what happens. With this thing. Oh, it's like some crazy clown zombie. Only like one that's been eating like crazy amounts of cupcakes or something. Oh, I missed. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I've only got 193 more shots left. I think they might have trivialized bullets a little bit. It used to be you really had to work for them, but now. Now you just get like crazy amounts of them. Oh, jeez! Ah, take that, zombies. In your face, fatty. Get him in the back of the head. Oh, it takes a few more bat hits than, than bullets. Oh, I thought I could get a two for one there. No good. All right. Another room cleared out. Uh, I guess I'll go up here. Ah! Uh-oh. Reload. Oh, no! It's like some crazy distorted clown faces on these things. There we go. Ah! Back, zombie, back! These guys aren't so tough. Nice. 
Even the bat works well enough, I guess. Uh, looks like there's supplies over here, which means there'll be a campfire. Yes. Not that I really need the bullets too badly, but it, it doesn't hurt to be fully stocked. Ow, I got burned by the candle. Oh, there's a little skull over here. <laughs> I want to take that home with me. Ow. Ow, ow. Damage while beating the skull. Just seems wrong. Okay. Is there a way down over here? Nope, there's more bullets, though. Holy, I really don't need all these many bullets. Well, tons of food, too. I don't know what's up with that, but I've got crazy amounts of food. Uh, wait a minute. This is all bullets up here also. Where is the way to go? Down here? I don't see... Well, there's no point in having a crying baby here. I pretty much already have their attention. Although, actually, it seems like they go to the crying baby. I might be able to use that as a little ambush tactic to get them to group together, and then I can get them with double shots. Oh, there we go. There's a pathway down here. Ah, that's it. All right, we're in sub-level three. I wonder what the boss is going to look like in this one. Might as well heal up full. Oh, same thing. It's not even moving. That was some impressive stopping power on this gun. Ah, we did it. Oh, now there's more of these big zombies out here. Oh, where is he? Okay. So maybe now that I've encountered those things inside the church, they're going to be out in the main town area. It certainly seems that way. Oh my gosh, they're all over the place. So not only does it get... Does my... Uh, well, the guys on there have rescued that are on the tower. I think they get more powerful, but it looks like the zombies get a little bit more challenging also. And a few more of these big guys out here. It still only takes two shots to take them down, though, so it's not really that challenging. All right, we got another tower that I built here in this little corner, so that gives us three so far. There should be some more civilian guys we can rescue, but I haven't been able to find any more yet. I don't know where to look for them now. I feel like I've gone over the whole town even seen the swamp area, but I also haven't seen the hospital yet, and I know that's out there somewhere. I guess maybe I'll try and plant some trees here. Well, I've got the time. Ah, uh, see, you used to be able to plant them side by side so the tree stumps would be really close together, but it looks like they've, they've stopped it so you can't do that anymore. They don't want to make it too easy by letting you stop all the zombies just with trees, I guess. All right, we have a herd of 18 here somewhere. We have 182 shots, so I guess I don't have to worry too much about ammunition or anything to take them out. Let's see if we can get some more of them to walk on the mines. Those are pretty awesome. I hear people shooting. Who's shooting? Who's shooting? Oh, there we go. We found some. Oh, where's my, where's my aim? There we go. Oh, nice shooting. Oh, my goodness. Look at the herd. Man, they, this one's kind of came in quick. I need more mines. Fortunately, they, they kind of left my kind of left my truck alone. There we go. Woo! That was a good chunk of them, actually. All right, I need to do something a little bit better with my defenses, I think. Maybe I'll put some more spike walls and stuff out here somewhere. Here are some of these some of these stumps here, so we have a little more room to work with, also. So the guys in the towers definitely do a lot to help with your defenses, and I need to get more of them. Funny enough, I can push this giant bone, and I can't help but wonder if I can spend this one giant bone over with that bone vendor. I mean, he, he'll buy the little bones. I want to see if he'll take this big one. Okay, I found the vendor. If I could just get close enough to stop him. Hey, buddy, do you want this bone? Oh, no, no, you're supposed to buy this thing. No, no. All right. It doesn't look like he wants it either. I have no idea what this giant bone is for. It doesn't seem to serve any useful purpose. You know, it just occurred to me. I can't sell this giant bone, but I don't think it's destructible. So I can use it actually as a line of defense. Oddly enough, I don't know if it's going to stay there when I log out. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. But I'm going to try and position this bone like in the middle of the wall down here. If I can get it past all these little tree stumps. It's not as big as I thought it would be. 
Nevertheless, I think that'll oddly work pretty well. There we go. Let's take it right in there. So if any zombies come in this way, they'll get the bone and they won't be able to get through. All right, that'll give us a pretty good layer of defense around that corner. We have double towers at the back here, so I'm less concerned about that. This side over here, I have quite a few mines. Maybe a couple more of these things here wouldn't hurt. Oh, out of materials. So we got this horde of 20 that's going to be showing up any moment now. And hopefully, with the traps at the gate, and the landmines out in the field, and the two towers at the back here, I don't think we'll have too much trouble taking care of 20 zombies. And worst comes to worst, we can jump in the truck and just clobber them all. In fact, I feel like that should be the plan right from the beginning. Holy, we got a boss! What the? He's actually inside the, the range of my traps there, too. Holy. Look at the size of that guy. He's laying on my fence. Oh, there's more zombies. Oh, there they are down here. Oh! Alright, let's try to get some attention here. Ow! Ow! Come over here. Boom! Looks like a little SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah. Said it was clear, but there's still zombies. Oh, uh, I don't know where that one went, but I'll take the victory. Up to herd eleven. All right, I think we made some good progress here. Our, our camp is looking pretty good. I do want to find some more survivors, but I'm not entirely sure where to find them. I think we're gonna have to go farther down south, maybe. Uh, down south of the town. We'll see if we can try and figure that out. We also still need to find the hospital where I know that the, the last we saw the last gem go inside, but So far our encampment's doing pretty well. I think I'm gonna call it a wrap for tonight. We'll come back and do a little bit more another time Thanks everyone for checking out the video. Hope you enjoy these and come back and check out some more We'll be back with some more. Don't bite me, bro another time. I'm as always cryptic Fox I'll see all of you next time